Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samurai Squad? We are playing a ranked 1v1 today, and uh, it's a new patch, which means there's a lot of stuff to talk about, man. Shiva is out in ranked. I will be playing him today. Ebo got a massive buff. His 3 no longer roots him, which means he's extremely mobile during all of his fights. Um, Yeah, it's going to be a Hebo mirror, obviously. Uh, Cupid got 10% more damage on his heart bomb. Jin got two or 10% more damage on her two. Ymir. Hold on. I have the patch notes up right here. Let me, uh, let me peep the notes real quick. I know Ymir got a nice change. Yeah. Ymir got a two second reduction on his stun at max rank, which is just a lot, honestly. So there's, uh, there's a lot happening here, dude. There's a lot happening. I'm excited for it. It's going to be wacky and wild. And also maybe wet. We are two Hebos. Who knows? Things could get weird. But um, let's just go over some of the changes real quick in the beginning. Like I said about all those gods before, uh, Cthulhu also got a 10 damage base buff around his 1. And uh, it's 10 damage at rank 1 and 30 damage at rank 5, scaling up by 5 each point. Um, Zing Tin got a... Twice the protection from his three. So normally when you land on someone with your three, a lot of people don't know this, but you actually got 10 protection from it. Uh, I'm getting the minis. But now you get 20 protection from it. So you're just that much tankier. Oh my God. The moving three is so nice. Holy crap. You see how easy that flows, man? That is so nice. And you can, like, use it while running and just not, like... You can use it while chasing now. Like, on God. Look at this. You can use the three while chasing and actually catch them. Oh, my gosh. It's incredible. But, yeah, as I was saying, um... Zing Ting got that buff to his three. Ymir got that buff to his three. Uh, x -Bal, I think, got a two-second buff... Or a two second uh, cooldown reduction on his two, which is his main damage ability. So there's just a lot of buffs getting thrown around this patch, which does mean next patch might be a, more, a little bit more nurse, but who knows? Uh, Kukulin got a 50% increase on the shield or on the, on the scaling of his shield when he turns into, you know, the man. So that's something to look out for. And then if I scroll down a bit more, if you keep hearing me tab out, it's because, well, I'm adjusting my uh my page while i'm reading off the notes um Fenner is brutalized gives him 50 percent more scaling of protections because again if you don't know when uh Fenner uses his three he actually does get scaling and it's it was one scaling per level now it's 1.5 scaling per level so a 50 percent increase at rank 20 or level 20. honestly amazing um sir cat actually got a buff long awaited in my opinion and honestly like very much deserved she kind of fell out of the meta she's, she's a support character my god she's an assassin that only is played in support it's atrocious but they did help because her cobra's kiss which is her two got a 10 percent damage increase well, it, well it's five percent per uh kiss but it, there's two of them so a 10 percent damage increase on that and uh you got another buff let me read it actually it's not a buff it's not a buff they lowered the damage of the one per hit because of the fact that death uh hold on i alt you oh my god because of the fact that uh crit got nerfed or i'm sorry not death thing because of the fact that her two got buffed they lowered the damage on her one so that her burst was an incredibly high they only lowered the damage by eight so it's not too big of a deal. I'd say the 10% scaling is much more important than the 8 base damage. They lowered it. And um, that's pretty much it for the god changes. Let me just make sure I got them right. Oh, Thor got buffed, actually. I lied. Thor's ult, the the uh, lightning he gets when he ults, which most people never care about for good reason. It's pretty useless most of the time. You're going to ult. There you go. Um, but it now does a five more damage per level, which is amazing because that does, I mean, that hits hard 
And let's see. Obviously, Sarket buff. Oh, Baron. I actually want to play Baron Samity today because they buffed the shit out of his ult. So that they... When Baron ults, normally you're 60% slower because, you know, they don't want you chasing everybody. Now it's 40%. So you got a 20% movement speed buff during his ult, basically. Which isn't too relevant, but it's, I mean, it's better than not having it, right? And they increased the scaling per tick of his ult. You know, the, the sucky sucky before you actually get damaged. Now has a 2% more scaling on it. So it went from 6 to 8. So... His ult is faster and more damaging. And he was already incredible. He was already incredible. So I don't really understand the need for that buff. But maybe he was less good in Conquest. Which is why he hit that buff. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is I'm playing Baron today. Poseidon got mana reduction on all of his abilities. Not all of them. He got mana reduction on his 2 and mana reduction on his 1. Um, which is just going to help him actually clear be better. Because Poseidon in Conquest, like he's he's a great Conquest god, but most people don't play him because of the fact that he has no mana. <laughs> like, you almost can never fight with Poseidon, even though he's so good at fighting, because your mana consumption is so high that just by clearing wave, you are always oom. Um. And that... Thumbs up all of the god changes. There is a ridiculous butt ass ton of um, item changes that I could go over. I haven't yet. Are you alting? Ah, uh, you did alt. I missed. Oop. Go on. Oh, dookie cheeks. It was close. It was close. I really, on God, thought he had blink for a second because he was still looking aggro. He was still looking aggro at me like there. But um, there are a couple notable changes that I want to say about items. I'm not going to go over all of them, but some notable changes is Aussie. The, uh, the tooltip actually now says better that it only procs when you're in combat, which is good because that's how all the lifesteal, low HP lifesteal items are. But it doesn't say it, and so some newer players were confused. So that's updated, which is good. Um, and the biggest notable change is Jade Emperor's. Jade Emperor's Crown, which is a physical defensive item, so it doesn't really matter in this game. Um, it got real good, my guy. It has 350 HP now. It has 350 HP and lowers damage by 15%. So you are... Tanky as a motherfucker and also doing damage. If you are a mage and you are against a physical god, I I recommend picking that item up. You're just you got you got a lot going for you with that item now. See, I hit the knockup, hit the nene, hit the alt. Yeah, my alt actually hit him. I think it did. He lived. Well, that was just a little bit close. He has Bancrofts and defense. All I have is cooldown, so it was dumb of me to try to fight that. I did it anyways, because my name is Sam, and I ended up winning the fight, luckily. Probably also because my name is Sam, now that I think about it. Alright, get the red buff. There we go. I'm going to get my Bancrofts, and then I'm going to go another buffed item that's not very good, but I'm going it because it was buffed. And I want to just show it off, is Oni Hunter's Garb. It was picked up pretty much... 100% of the time in Conquest by solo laners. Almost every single solo lane picked it up every game. And they were like, you know what? 100% buy rate? That's a little too low. Let's make every character in the game buy it every game, which is a 500% buy rate. Um, Oni Hunters now, they doubled the HP it had. It had 100, now it has 200. And it still gives you percent mitigation. 9% mitigation. Um... And 60 Magical Protection, MP5, CCR, all the good stuff that you already loved about Oni Hunters, but now with double the HP, so. It's not the greatest in duel, obviously, because instead of 9% damage mitigation, you only get 3. But uh, I'm going to pick it up anyways, because I think it's going to be a great item for Conquest, and might as well get in the habit of buying it. 
But yeah, so there's there's so many changes for this patch. And I'm excited. Genuinely excited. There's a lot of buffs. I like it when things get buffed because it normally means things die faster. And when things die faster, I have more fun. That's just how it works. In a more tanky meta, shit's so boring. But in a damage meta, everything blows up. It's like... It's dopamine city for me. I don't know why, but it is. Turn around. Thank you. I missed. I missed again. Don't hit me. One thing you do have to notice when you're fighting the Hebos is like, it's crazy because now that the three is, uh, now that the three is mobile, right? Like you don't actually get locked down when you're using it. You can chase so hard. And normally, normally you can get away from Hebos because the fact that there is, there is kind of, you know, immobile. So... If you actually get away from the initial chase of a Hebo, you're pretty safe. And not anymore, dude. Not anymore. You're big scared all the time. I want to go get Oni Hunters. I'm assuming he's going to go clear the wave. Yeah, you are. Alright, thanks for the 200 HP. Uh, I want the Vine and I want Blink. Aegis obviously is good, but that's for beta, so I'm not going to buy it. He bought Aegis, whatever. Uh, let me see if there's any other super noticeable changes. I talked about the uh, the katana tree, right? All of the items in the katana tree got lowered by 50 gold, except for serrated and uh, golden blade, because those were both. I mean, serrated is a bloated item, so I, I'm glad that they didn't nerf it or buff it. I mean, and um, golden blade was already like hella hecka cheap. Hello, I miss. Are you gonna alt me? Aren't you gonna alt me? Hold me! Hold me! I missed. I didn't miss. Never mind. It just never hit. Boom! I'm chasing you to the ends of the earth. You don't scare me, demon boy. Meow! I'm not scared of you. Nice. Massive kill. He got my wave, which kind of sucks. So I can't get Phoenix. Well, I don't know. I might be able to get Phoenix. I have a half HP, uh, like melee dude. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know how many shots a half HP melee dude can take. Never mind. It's two. I can't get this thing. Damn it. Whatever. I'll just go get red buff. And divine, obviously, because he has, uh, what is that item called? Bancrofts. You know, the item that I have that he also has that I don't know the name of. You know, the one that all the mages pick up that's really good. You know, the one that's been in the game since beta when I started playing. Yeah, Bancrofts. That item that I don't know the name of. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Where you at, my boy? Where you at? You run? You're doing blue. Blue and you ran away. Blue and then circled back to Phoenix. All right. So we got a little. A little cockroach over here. Sitting around waiting under the walls and ready to strike. Can cockroaches bite? That's a good question. I don't think they can. But I don't know the answer. Maybe they bite other things. I doubt they bite humans. They probably got tiny mouths. I feel like that's the problem with most insects that they have. Is they just got tiny mouth syndrome. So they can't they can't bite us as humans. That pissed them off. Blink on. I missed. Get hit with everything. Doesn't matter. Hit him. Hit him. Use this. Hit him. Great kill. Great kill, great win, great game one. Next game will either be one of three characters. It will either be Baron Samity, Cupid, or Shiva. I haven't decided which one yet. I kind of want to play all three, but I played Cupid in yesterday's Try Hard Thursday. So maybe I'll, I won't play him in this one. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you guys in the next game. Yo, what's up, boys? I'm doing an Izanami mirror. The last game was a Hebo mirror. So that's a little bit weird. But, um... Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen here?
Italian Bronx guy. We both got the tier five Izanami skin. Let's go. It's the whole reason. It's the whole reason I'm playing Izanami because of the tier five skin. I'm so excited for it. All right, we're going to slam these items here, grab a shell, and grab all of these abilities. They're looking good, man. You too, you too. <laughs> Look at this special, boys. I just spent 8,200 gems on this. Um, I don't know. I just I just played a game with her, and I got shit on because I was fighting um, Osiris. It wasn't a very fun game. I lost in seven minutes. Doesn't matter. There but um, stalkers anywhere. this emote is super sick, and I don't actually know how to change... Like, my skin. I know she's got four different types. I know that if I use the two, I turn into... Or no, I'm sorry. If I use the three, I turn into a yellow type character. Can I please have this? Oh, he actually gave me it. Like this one. Now I'm yellow all of a sudden. And I have four arms and I'm sick as hell. It's awesome. But I don't know how to do the other ones. Because there's four of them. What do you get? You got mannequins? I respect the mannequins play. It's not my favorite play. Because Gilded does a lot, but uh you know, I do respect it. The reason I like Gilded over mannequins on his Anami is because mannequins only affects the first minion of a wave. Whereas Gilded affects every minion in the wave. Like like, the mannequins will only proc on the first minion you hit, right? It will only do the tick damage on that first minion you hit. But Gilded Arrow doing 25 basic attack damage increase, where mannequins only does 10, means I'm doing more damage to every minion overall, which makes my clear so much better than his. Now, it does mean... I will say it does mean that Mannequins lets him out-trade me with ease, I'm pretty sure. Like if we both hit four auto attacks, I think I'd probably walk away with less HP than him. But um, my burst damage is higher because my auto attacks chunk more. Like Mannequins over time will burn more, but... Like, he's hitting 52 per auto. I'm hitting 92 per auto. Let me embrace you. Yeah, he ran. Nice. I actually got the kill. I thought I choked it, dude. I thought I choked it. I didn't think that kill was coming in for me, but lo and behold, we got it. Let's go. Transcendence online. I'm pumping numbies. Omega style. Sorry, Shiv's on the phone. Caught me off guard for a second. I heard a robot lady voice and I was like, what's happening? <laughs> All right. Let's see. How much do you do? 38 plus 18. How much do I do? I do 38 plus 18. I do... Let me hit you. 38 plus 18 for you. 81. Plus. 37. Okay. I'm doing like more than triple your damage. Or more than double your damage. Almost triple your damage. I like the, the that little blue one, or the like bluish green one. That's my favorite one. Oh, I'm it now. All right. back all right i think i can probably corner him honestly you 
Oh, my last auto didn't hit, man. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. The corner, the alt, the one. My damage is so high, man. This tower is getting dropped. 88 damage per auto. My attack speed is nice, too. Um, oh, God. Yo, the Gilded Arrow Transcendence combo just does too much. It is doing too much right now. I missed all my autos. I missed all my autos. Honestly, I deserve that. <laughs> Honestly, I deserve that. Let me tab out real quick and go to the the uh, item buff page and see if any of these n nice items that I actually want have got buffed or not. The Kin Sice actually got buffed by 100 gold, which is really nice. Aussie didn't get buffed. It just got a wording change. I'm going to go Kins just because it got buffed. The stats of Kins didn't get buffed at all. It just went from 2,700 to 2,600, which basically means that... Instead of buying kins, I can buy kins plus potions. So, uh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take whatever buff I can get here. I'm doing nearly 200 damage per auto without red buff right now. I will say kins is definitely not the item you should go in this position. If you're ever in an Izanami mirror. Like this. Because, uh... Like, it, it, it's good later in the game, but, like, right now, you want either defense or Aussie or something. I did the Nemi in his garbage. I don't know why he picked it up. Um, the reason it's garbage is because it went from 90 protection to 70. So, it's basically breastplate without the good cooldown. So, there's really no reason for it. Ever. The fact that I'm trading even with you should tell you something. I can't hit autos. That should also tell you something. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I think... I think hide is such a stupid item. There you go. Nice kill. My damage is incredible, so bull demon should drop pretty easy. I wonder if he was going for Bull Demon because he thought I backed or going for Bull Demon because he thought I was doing it. I can't really tell which one it is. But all I know, I'm going to go Aussie now. That's not... I typed in ASI. An emblem of increasing peril came up. It, I mean, okay. I don't really understand. There's no, like... There's an A, sure. There's an I. Like, it says Aussie in the middle of the word increasing, but it shouldn't come up before the item Aussie. You know what I mean? Like, there's levels of this shit, and you are breaking all of them on God. I do so much more damage than him. I'm not going to use my one, because... I want to keep my one for if I fight him. Dude, I'm missing every auto attack. Oh, you died. Oh, you didn't die? Close to die. Alright. Titan. Time for your downfall. He comes up in five seconds. I'm a little scared. I feel like these minions might beat my ass because I don't actually have Aussie yet. God, he's up. Oh, 
Damn it, dude. He, he used he used his three away, and I don't have mannequins to keep track of him, so it let him get close to me. Even though he used it away, it let him get closer to me. Damn it, I actually could have killed. I could have killed. I was expecting him to go full-on fight mode there. He didn't, which sucks, but... That's okay. Oh, I just turned an add-on on accident. My bad. My bad, my bad. See if I get red buff. Oh, he got red buff. Okay, I have Aussie now. I'm not scared. He's got crit chance, though. Oh my, you are doing too much. Popping thorns, getting crits. Twice the auto attacks on me because my uh, my stealth ran out before his. Super unlucky, by the way. But it is what it is, I suppose. It is what it is, I suppose. All right, whatever. I'll just go breastplate. By the way, the reason uh, that item blows high to the Nemean is because... One, the passive isn't even doing anything for you. I guess it gives you mana if you want it, but whatever. Passive isn't really doing anything for you, and if you get the um, this glyph right here, it gives you 85 protections. So you get 15 more protections than Nemean, plus 20% cooldown already. Oh, hello. Look. I understand. I understand that you won last fight, so you think you win every fight. That is most certainly not the case. You won last fight because you popped thorns and I couldn't hit you. I I, I approve of the enthusiasm, but it was it, it was just too bad. Bad. GG's, Giga Gamer. Oh, my chest is tight as heck. Got back from a chest day and it's already hurting. That's not a good sign. I'm going to be in pain the next four days. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next game, which will probably be the last game. Even though there's only three games for this one, it's okay. What's up, boys? Welcome back to the last game of the video, most likely. I know it's going to be a shorter one, but uh, sometimes it's just got to be like that. <clears throat> I would love to get a Baron game in, but... I'm going to go meet my parents because they sold their house and I'm going to go hang out with them a little bit in the, in the house before it's gone McGee. But I am playing the new Shiva skin and actually Shiva in, uh, in duel, which I'm just super excited for. Honestly, I, I feel like, I mean, obviously I got Shiva diamond on day one, right? It's no, it's no secret. I like this guy. But, oh, the music is banger, dude. Am I going to, wait, hold on. DMCA? Am I going to get banned? Do I have that audio thing on where it's like, uh, copyright music is muted. Oh, let's go, dude. Okay, bitch. You want to hit me? Wanna hit me? Wanna hit me? Go ahead. Go ahead, say some stuff then. That's what I thought. You scared. You scared and you should be. How about that? You scared and you should be. Alright, let's clear this wave. Make sure that doesn't hit me. Boom, boom. Dash through it. Go over here. Gotta just gotta slowly clear these mini boys. I don't really have all the mana I need to, to murder a boy, but uh, maybe I do. Who knows? Nice. I had enough mana to murder a man. Let's go. I do normally max the two, by the way, because I like the two better for 
clearing stuff. But, um... <clears throat> I don't know. Maxing the one's not bad either. I don't know why I'm putting points into the one instead of the two right now. Might be a little bit of autopilot. Ready for my but either way, I don't think there's a bad way to level Eva. <laughs> and I do mean that. Whether it's maxing the three, the one, or the two. Because, like, the three hits twice for 185. That's a shit ton. Technically speaking... Your three is actually your highest damage ability. <laughs> and then your two has the best wave clear, I think, because it can hit all the wave and still keep you in a good position. It also does more damage than the one. And then the one, obviously the least damaging ability, but leaves a fire on the ground that you can kite through. So there's like, there's every, you could level literally any type of ability you want on this character, which maybe is why I like him so much. Who knows? not locked into a certain constraint you know ouch i can probably kill him with my ult i get the knock up pull i'll heal I'll use the last one to heal. It's fine. The price of being I didn't get a kill, but I did make him panic alt, which makes me happy. So I'll count that as a win. Um, I really don't know what I want to level first. My two or my one? I will level the two. With no reasoning behind it other than it does slightly more damage. And I do like the attack speed buff it gives me. Obviously, I don't have the attack speed buff on right now because you only get the attack speed buff when you're in your bliss stance. But it's okay. There's his meditation and his alt. Just because I showed my face near him. My god. That two hit him so hard. Ah. Nice. I actually didn't expect for him to fall for that. So I'm down. I'm going to use that last tick, by the way, of my ult to heal. Because uh, I need the mana to clear them, my buff quickly. And then I want to head over there. Probably with Jade. Not Jade. Fucking uh, Talisman. Yeah, this one. This one, this one. And then we're going to use our six special on the way over there. Dude, the forearm wave is sick. Security needs to be here. We walked through it. I actually did a pretty good amount of damage because I have pressure and bluestone. So him walking through the fire actually kind of chunked him a little bit. I love that I'm CC immune in my... Uh... Hold on. You're dead here. 2%. Nice. I love that I'm CC immune in my 3. So when he tries to knock me up with his, uh, with his meatball, all I have to do is 3 it. My 2 hits for 300 right now. I mean, hey, dude, I, I told you guys, I told you guys on release day when I got this God diamond that Shiva was going to be a menace in duel. 
I believe it. Like this guy's cracked, McGee. The damage is just too good. The damage is too good. The alt is a little bit lackluster, I'll admit, for uh for damage in in duel, but for sustain, it's immaculate. Like it's so good. I don't know what second relic I want yet. I I feel like blink would be good. Because after he wins, if he misses, I could just blink on him and all. Who knows? Okay. okay. This guy is definitely a Vulcan main. I guess just keeps placing his turret down over and over and over. There's a ward here, huh? I am really surprised. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't kill him, actually. I was going to say I'm really surprised that that ult didn't kill. I mean, I guess he did use his uh, his meditation, and I don't have beat stick yet. But still, surprised it didn't kill. See, did you do your blue? Want to pick it up, huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Try. Definitely not as young as I once was. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, I'm in the zone. This is my jam. Hmm. Why do you have so much healing? Oh, you have Chalice. I was wondering, like, I feel like he's regened 90% of his HP since that initial fight. Now I know why. Because he had a Chalice and he was spamming that bad boy. It's okay. It might beat sick now, so. Rest in pieces, your Relic and your Chalice. You do have... Breastplate though, which is gonna be obnoxious. Cause cooldown. I really want him to use his ult before I pull ball demon, but I don't really know how to get him to do that. It actually body blocked me. You are scared of me right now, huh? And yet you still full clear. That's annoying. Did he ult? Don't actually know if he ulted. What I do know... I cannot do this bull demon as fast as I hope. Oh, he actually is not coming over here. That's really surprising. I could have sworn he was going to try to alt that. Lucky me. What's my next relic? I mean, I would love a Frostbound because he's just so fast. Um, but also, I feel like I might just benefit more with, like, damage. I don't know. Oh, and Gem of Iso. 
Dude, this guy actually plays Vulcan. That's annoying. Oh, that was not the button I wanted to press. He dropped red. He's going to go do blue. I don't care. I'm just going to take tower and... Uh, I'm going to take tower and then I'm just going to wait for Boldemon to spawn again and go for Phoenix. I'm just going to play the objective game because I obviously cannot compete with the clear of him. I don't care about anything you do. Your damage sucks. You're just very hard to kill because... Mobility. Did you even... Oh, you picked a blue buff. Okay. He's got max cooldown. The, that's the good news. The good news is that he already has max cooldown, so he's not going to get more annoying than he currently is. Well, he will, but only because of Gem of Iso. After his Gem of Iso is finished, he will not get more annoying than he currently is. I want to get my Heart Seeker. Because I feel like it's going to do very well against him. And I do spam abilities on this god pretty quick. But you know what? Ready for my grand I actually day. think that I'm going to go Transcendence because I'm going to spam abilities so quick that I want them all to do so much damage. So Transcendence and Heartseeker. I play. Will it work? Uh, most certainly not. But, you know, who knows? I just want to get the cooldown on this right here. Mm, should be able to catch him, right? Nice. Nice. I actually caught him, dude. Let's go. There we go. I used uh I used my alt to heal a little bit there. Use my alt to heal a little bit there and I healed my wave up too, not only myself, so we should be able to get this Phoenix pretty free. Great for me. And then we can also get the red buff here, too. Can't go pick it up, which is unfortunate, but look at this. Here's what it is. I think. Oh, actually, Hydras would be kind of sick, but I'm going to go this first. I'm going to go for the blue stone first. If I can go pick up the blue stone, that would be nice. Dude, Shiva is so dominant in duel. Like, even though this game is taking a bit, even though it's taking a little bit long, I, I've never been on the back foot, you know? I've never been losing. It's just, it's a slow victory because he's so good at kiting me and like, you know, Gem of Iso and Vulcan stuff, but... um. You know, I've killed him four times and I've been in control this whole time. Kill you here? I know I blinked in, I could have just used my two, but I wanted to get fancy and try to kill him with my three. And then my three missed, and then I wanted to get fancy and kill him with my pull because when you kill them with your pull with Shiva, they have a really funny ragdoll effect. And then I missed that too, and then I just killed him with my two because, you know, whatever. It's fine. 
Look at that blue stone damage. I did 1300 blue stone damage to Titan. And that's game, dude. The new king of duel is here. And I'm excited for I'm ready for it. I'm going to do exactly what Shiva... I'm going to do exactly what I did with uh, Set and Kamazots to Shiva. And I'm going to bring him into the meta and everyone's going to have to ban him. For at least a couple months. That's just how it's going to work. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Peace.